And now, ladies and gentlemen, rounds four and five. The places where civility tends to break down a little bit, <laughs> where people tend to pass things on, where some people have even been known to select very difficult words and then pass them on to another team. <laughs> Those kind of things happen in rounds four and five. As most of you know, round four is kind of simple. It's the same, really, as round two. You get to choose the level of the word that you would like to spell. And as before, one is easy and four is impossible. And somewhere between them, those is your place, probably. And you, this time, will get double scores. So while McDaniel and Carroll Community College and those penguins sit atop the leaderboard right now, you are very much in jeopardy. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to hand over to Fred Hecker to do the pronunciation, notice that pronunciation, not pronunciation, pronunciation for round four. This is our first double round. We do not have penalties for errors in this round. All right. Carroll Community College World, Word Wizards. What level? Level three. All right. 61. Okay. The first word, the next word in level three is castanet. It is a noun. And it means a percussion instrument consisting of two shells that are clicked together, castanet. Castanet, C-A-S-T-I-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Okay, would you like to use a mulligan? I'm in a do-over. My mulligan was a mulligan. Yeah, it is a mulligan. <laughs> yeah, a mulligan's a do-over, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. C-A-S-T-I-N-E-T-T-E. Correct spelling of castanet is C A S T A N E T. Okay. All right, next up the Carroll County Public Library. Uh, how did I know that? Okay. All right, 87. Okay, here we go. Lambrican. It's a noun and it is a woven fabric covering for a helmet in medieval times. Lambrican. Excuse me, lambrican. Back down to reality. Okay. Okay, that word is spelled, Lambrican is spelled L A M B R E Q U I N. Lambrican. Are you glad you took a level three word? You don't have to answer, don't answer that question. Okay. All right, next level three word. 
Dermis did. It's a noun, and it is a type of beetle that is destructive to material of animal origin. Dermis did. Dermis did. D E R M A S T I D. Now they can't use any more. There they is already a, used a, they already they went chose down the another level. word. You'll just live with that? Okay. All right. All right. The Literacy Council. Oh, I'm sorry. Dermis did. D E, you were so close. D E R M E S T I D. I think you missed by one letter. All right. Literacy Council, read more Ramblers. Well, they're the easiest one to read out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to reach into my pocket for that one. All right. That word is poinsettia. I think we all know that word. It's a noun, and it's a semi-tropical plant with scarlet bracts that suggest petals, poinsettia. Poinsettia, P-O-I-N-S-E-T-T-I-A. OK. All right, McDaniel College. Four feet. <laughs> okay, here we go, level four. Achakatura. You heard me. It's a noun. And it's a grace note half a step below and struck at the same time as a principal note, a chukatura. Sure, a chukatura. these words. You pick these words. I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> but I had a dictionary, so it was easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Where is it? A C C I A. C A T U R A. Yeah. Close. Uh, care to use a mulligan? No, I do. Pardon me? You can't do a new word now, correct? You cannot do a new word, but you can do a do over. Or you, or, you, or you can save your do-over for another time, I mean. Can we get a full 50 seconds? For yes. The yes. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. I like your gaminess. <laughs> can you give us the etymology of the word? Or do you have that? All I can give you is the uh, part of speech, which is a noun, and the definition, if you'd like to hear that again. Can you pronounce it again, please? Sure. Achakatura. 
It is a grace note half a step below and struck at the same time as a principal note. A chakatura. Okay, a chakatura. A C C I A C O T U R A. Mm. You were one letter away the first time. I know. The correct spelling of this word, of which I have never heard, maybe you have, is A C C I A C C A. T U R A. I think you had one C the first time. I think the audio points just for getting that close. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, North Carroll, Panthers. Level three. All right. The next level three word is Derringer, a noun which means a short barreled pocket pistol. Derringer. Derringer. D E R R I N G E R. Man knows his weapons. All right. Do you have a question for the judge? No, okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> you, all right, the anxious lexophiles. And that level is what? Three. Three, okay. All right, the next level three word is cabochon. It's a noun. It means a convex precious stone polished but not cut into facets. Cabochon. Cabochon, C-A-B-O-C-H-O-N. All right. And the spelling penguins. Level three. All right, the next level three word is hematoseal. It's a noun and it means hemorrhage into a cavity. Hematoseal. Hematoseal, H E M A T A C I L E. Would you like a do over? Yes, please. That is your prerogative.
H E M A T O C I L E. Right up until the end. Hematocele is spelled H E M A T O C E L E. Oh, I know. A sigh of disgust from the audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and now we come, what do they say in the horse racing, and down the stretch they come! <laughs> and in the lead are the Lexophiles with 10 points. And the North Carroll Panthers with 10 points. And then they're followed up by McDaniel. But as you can see, if you look at that board and you can read that board, the lowest team has four points. Now, the way the score is going to work in this final round is like this. It's double points, so, you know, you select a four and you spell it right, you get eight points. So theoretically, every team here can win. There's another thing that I would remind everybody about, and that is... If you haven't used your do-over, you still have that. If you haven't passed a word along to somebody else, oh, you still have that. And there's that other one, too, which I've just quickly forgotten. You can choose another word. You can choose another word. That's right. <laughs> and if you find that the level is just too tense for you at that point in time, you can always choose a lower level on that other word. Yeah, you have a question. They do. They lose the points, and then you go back to your turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of the mouths of innocent contestants. Here it goes. Okay. Yes, what is it? No. No, you cannot. So, if a word's passed to you, you could be in trouble. If, if a word is passed to you, you have to try to spell it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always explain to people about the spelling bee that it's not just a spelling bee. <laughs> in spelling bees, people faint when they spell the words right. They celebrate, they do things like this. Here people do malicious things like passing words around and things like that. So think it through and um, honestly, tactics wins all here as long as you can spell. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to hand it back to Fred to uh, keep doing the pronouncing, but I would remind all of you again you have those three options if you still have them available to you. And, you know, it's one of those things in life. You always, what's that st thing about you, you never want to die without having, like, exhausted all your resources? Well, this is one of those situations. <laughs> so, with that, on we go. And Judge Hecker will be coming in to do the pronouncing of this final round. And at the end of this, one of those teams up there could be champion or you could have some kind of playoff, but we'll have to figure that out. So it's life or death, apparently. All right, okay. All right, here we go. Round five. Yes, I just would like to clarify one other thing, just for tactical Ter I reasons. You said terrify. You said clarify. I thought you said terrify. <laughs> You might not be wrong. <laughs> you might not be wrong at all. I would just like to terrify you with one other thing. And that is this, that if you do pass a word to another team, whether the other team gets the word right or wrong, you still come back to your turn and you still have to do your turn. I just want to make sure that everybody's clear about that particular rule. Sorry, we've got a couple of questions here. You can, you can choose whatever level you want. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? 
This is important stuff. Okay, with that, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Okay, level four. Okay. Okay. You're going to test me. Deuteranopia. It is a noun and it means color blindness in which the retina does not respond to the color green. Deuteranopia. I don't blame you. <laughs> Penguin Random House. Which one? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Deuteranopia. D-E-U-T-E-R-O-N-O-P-I-A. Yeah, this is the this is the critical round. But they want to do a they want to do a do over. Okay, you have a they do have a mulligan. Well, yes, they still have. Do you still have your mulligan? Pardon? Yes, sure. All right. You're going to do a do-over. The word again is deuteranopia. Let's try this again. D E U T E R. O N O B I A. Mm. Again, I think you should. Yeah. All right, you're probably going to kick yourself because you were so, so close. The correct spelling is D E U T E R A N O P I A. So, this goes back to community college? Community college, yes. All right, back to the community college. Level two word. Going for the points. Here we go. 29. 29. Lacrimation. The production of tears. It's a noun. Lacrimation. Lacrimation, L-A-C-R-I-M-A-T-I-O-N. Oh, you can stop crying. You're right. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Carroll County Public Library. Level four. Level four. Guys are nothing if not ambitious. Here we go. I love this word. I love this word. The word is kinikinik. It's a noun, and it means a mixture of dried leaves and bark smoked by Indians of the Ohio Valley. <laughs> kinikinik. Would you like some dried leaves to smoke before you spell that? <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Panthers? Sure. Kinikinik.
Q-U-I-N-I. Q-U-I-N-E-K. Do you have a mulligan? And if so, would you like to use it or do over? No. <laughs> I think only the Ohio Valley Indians have any idea. And only after they smoke. And the <laughs> okay, the spelling of Kinnikinick is K-I-N-N-I. K-I-N-N-I-C-K. Just like it sounds. <laughs> What's the problem? Okay. All right. Uh, back to the library. Level three. All right. The next word is periarteritis. It's an inflammation, it's a noun, and it's an inflammation of the outer coating and tissue of an artery. Periarteritis. Sure, the definition of periarteritis is inflammation of the outer coating and tissue of an artery. 20, 25 seconds. Periarteritis, P-E-R-I-A-R-T-E-R-I-T-I-S. Whoa. Uh, that man's going to be a doctor, I would say. Okay. All right. Literacy Council. Three? All right. The next level three word is vignetter. A device, it's a noun, it's a device for blurring the edges of a photograph. Vignetter. Okay, to whom? Right, library vignetter. The definition of vignetter is a device for blurring the edges of a photograph. Vignetter, V I G N E T T O R. Do over. Vignetter, V I G N E T T E R. I don't know why people say English is a difficult language to learn. I really don't. Okay. All right. The McDaniel College, right? Uh, back to literacy. Yep, back to literacy council. Okay. 
Three again. Okay. Axoma. It's the membrane surrounding the axon of a nerve fiber. Axillama. And it's a noun. Don't blame you. All right, axillama, I'll spell that for you. A X I L E M M A. Okay, new word, level three or a different level? No. Hmm? They have to go three? Okay. All right. All right. Your word then is Winnock. It's a noun and it's a Scots word for window. Again, the word is Winnock. Winnock, W-I-N-N-O-C-H. Okay. All right. Very close. The spelling of Winnock is W-I-N-N-O-C-K. All right. All right, now we go to McDaniel College. Level four. You college kids. Okay, here we go. Level, the next word is Chongsum. It's a noun, and it means a Chinese dress with a slit skirt and a Mandarin collar. Changsum. They have to, yeah, either, either spelling will be acceptable. Amer Eng English or uh, Mandarin. H E O N G S A M. <laughs> All right. You'll have to start doing advertisements for McDaniel College, I think. <laughs> All right. North Carroll. Four. All right. North Carol, your word is Arshbon. It's a noun, and you'll know this word. It's a bench of the Renaissance period with arms, a back, and a chest underneath. Arshbon. Same level? Yes. All right, Arshbon. I pronounce it like it's supposed to be pronounced, I believe, but it's spelled A R C H E B A N C. I think you were wise to pass that one up. Okay. Same level? Yes. Okay. All right, your next word then is Commodore. 
It's a noun and it's a breed of shaggy coated white shepherding dogs of Hungarian origin. Commandor. Commandor, C O M M O N D O R. All right, Commandor, it, they don't get a do over here. You have a do over. Oh, would you yeah. like a do over? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Commandor, C O M M E N D O R E. Commandor. This uh, breed of shaggy dog is spelled K O M O N D O R. Okay, good try. The drama's building. Lexophiles, level four. Your word is octio. It's a noun, and it's a thorny scarlet. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I missed a syllable. Thank you. Okay. Octio. Octio. A noun. A thorny scarlet flowered shrub of the southwest. Akatio. Thank you for catching me. The community college. Okay. O-T-I-O. Do we have a do-over? No. no. Okay, no do-over, I'm told. All right, Akatillo. O-C-O-T-I-L-L-O. Akatillo. All right, goes back to the lexophiles, right? Level three. Okay, level three word. Your word is strabismus. It's a noun and it is a it's the technical term for cross-eyed, crossed eyes, excuse me. Strabismus. The technical term for crossed eyes. Okay, strabismus, by the way, was spelled, is spelled. S-T-R-A-B-I-S-M-U-S. All right. Level two, 30, 30 right? Mm -hmm. Oh, another one of my favorite words. Okay. Arraignment. <laughs> A noun, and we do those on Fridays, by the way, generally. <laughs> It's a noun, and it's a formal charging of someone with an offense or crime. Arraignment. Running up to the microphone. Arraignment. A-R-R-A-I-G-N-M-E-N-T. 
Excellent. Good job. Okay. All right. Spelling penguins. Level three. Okay, give me a second to get my eyes focused on this one. Here we go. The next word is hemianopsia. It is a noun, and it means blindness in half of the visual field. Hemianopsia. I can. I don't know, but I will try. Hemianopsia. Okay, two. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's blindness in half of the visual field. This is a level three word. Hemianopsia, H-E-M-I-N-O-E-P-S-I-A. They don't have a duo though, I think, right? Okay, hemianopsia. H E M I A N O P S I A. All right. I guess it goes back to the literacy. I mean, back to the spelling penguins, right? Seven. Spelling penguins, back to you. Two. All right. That is thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Curvature. I, let me try that again. Curvature. There we go. It's a noun. A curved condition or the state of being curved. Curvature. Curvature, C-U-R-V-A-T-U-R-E. Okay. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations to our winners tonight. And the winners are McDaniel College with 15 points.
The Carroll County Public Library folks had the lead for a long, long time on the backs of those cheerleaders. So congratulations to the cheerleaders too. <laughs> Second place for Carroll County Public Library. And third place for the Spellin' Penguins. Penguin Random House. So now what we're going to do uh, is we're going to hand out trophies and ribbons and things like that. But we're also going to do some other things as well. Um, what is coming up now is what, Janet? The 50-50. This is the 50-50 raffle. $77. I did not ent enter the 50-50, so I can draw on the 50-50. Okay. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Okay, here we go. The winner of the 50-50 raffle, 676 676-0083. Three. Yes, congratulations. Did you enter this one? I did not enter that one. Okay. So I can draw that one too, I guess. <laughs> Lanesborough shoes. Okay, here we go. The winner of the big raffle. Zero three, zero zero, three, zero. Zero three, zero zero, three zero. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it falls to us to give the prizes to the winning teams, I guess. Is that the next thing? So, Mike and Janet, if you can step out there and we'll call them out one by one. In third place. The Penguin Random House Spellin' Penguins. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, Spelling Penguins. And now, in second place, Carroll County Public Library. The Library Spellers. <laughs> who I think are going to dream about some of those long words tonight. Okay. And finally, our 2014 Annual Spelling Bee Champions for the 15th Annual Spelling Bee. McDaniel College. We spell McDaniel. Thanks, Alexa. So congratulations to the winners on a magnificent effort. And And congratulations to all of you for coming out and supporting a cause that is so very important. And please keep supporting it and bring out more teams next year. And next year, remember to use those passes really effectively and you will win. <laughs> and next, um, I think that's about it for tonight with one caveat. And that is that the contestants are reminded to pick up a random house dictionary over there in the uh, far corner on the opposite side. Thank you very much for coming out tonight and have a great year. <laughs>